Welcome back uh, everybody on part uh, 5 of uh, this project the Hi-Fi uh, amplifier. Oh guys, uh, I've managed to uh, build, build everything uh, the way it should. And I have to uh, tell you a few things. I have to make another choke. Yeah, yes. Uh, there are two chokes on, on the bottom. I had to separate those two channels because I want to tell you what happened. When I put uh, the N12s in, the EL34s, and I uh, pushed that valve in and that in, then we uh, started to, uh, to oscillate because you have a feedback from this side to that side and vice versa. So that didn't work. So, what I have done is uh, both screen are going to the same point of that choke. I don't know uh, if you heard of uh, screen grid modulation. That is exactly what happened. So I can show you on the schematic and hopefully it will work. Um, let's see if I can get this in here somehow. How about that guys? Anyway, I will do my best to explain it to you. Um, I will move in a bit so we can see it a bit better. Get it up. Ah, there you go. Well then, so I'll refocus that for a moment, okay? Okay, now you can see the screen right here. There, with, the, with that uh, little resistor there, on to this point to uh, the choke. This goes to the choke. Sorry, uh, guys, I have a bit of stomach uh, uh, trouble, so uh, excuse me for that. So, uh, you have to uh, see this uh, double. So, uh, this, uh, this side goes to that same point, and the other side also. So, when you say you got, got the snicker, say from, uh, from this point yeah, onto the grid, then you had automatically, you had also, because of that, you have a feed down there. So when I put that uh, uh, second choke in, that was gone. Okay, so we had to feed via the screen grid. Uh, uh, yeah. This, I uh, have show you, show you also, this feed here to the anode of the second, uh, of the second, uh, the second valve, is that okay? Or whatever, uh, no. yeah, second valve. Uh, this the anode. We can get fed for 550k via that point, and that is connected to uh, that point from the screen grid on both sides. So, if consequently, if you uh, put the signal on here, that uh, uh, signal goes through that resistor, goes back onto uh, this uh, point, and automatically feeds back into the valve on both sides. So, when you uh, Put the signal on, you hear them in the left channel and also hear them in the right channel. So that's why the, the reason why I put the second choke in, and that then it was gone because then they are separated. Okay, there was another uh, little trouble what caused the feedback is that one here. I tried to do that because I've done that in the past with a long time ago. Um, this only works for. Um, when you only have one channel, then it has no, uh, no trouble. But as soon as you start that off, uh, then you get the same trouble again with that again. So, uh, okay, as I just I removed the, the 1K resistor and I removed that lead. There was no trouble whatsoever. Everything was okay. There was no distortion or whatever. Anyway, guys, I tried this uh, little amplifier. You can say little. Um, I was surprised of the volume. What that thing produces because if you look here uh, from that point, let's have a look and uh, see if we can. Yeah, I won't. I have to put a bit lower so I can't see it otherwise. Okay, but this I fed the signal down here on that point here. And I wasn't B there, I wasn't on this valve at all, so I was just there. I fed the uh, just a signal on there. It was a tremendous sound, a tremendous sound. Even my wife was uh, <laughs> startled. 
she couldn't uh, uh, hear the television anymore. So so loud, uh, so so hard uh, that uh, sound was. Okay, so that was uh, Chaffee that that happened. Uh, I'm uh, happy to report it was no harm at all. No, 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 no harm whatsoever. Um, and after that, I uh, tried with my tape recorder. Uh, we got a, f a signal back on here, on this point or that point was it? This point, I think, was it? Yeah. Put the signal on there. It was tremendously loud and uh, and fantastically clear. Okay. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to tell you a few things more. I will reposition the camera a bit, a little bit. Ah, oh, there we go. You can see I'm started off already uh, putting the parts in on the low and on the high. So uh, the only thing I started it off just I put in a little uh, board behind here because I can get ground easily up here. I can solder this very short. It's very important because of the hum, you know. Anyway, uh, tomorrow I will uh, carry on. With my uh, with my doings, I uh, connect the top part up, and I get uh, this. I think it will be that one, or that one. I have to choose. Yeah, it will be this one. I'll connect that one onto the two channels, onto the front. And I will zoom out, zoom out, and move back a bit. So, so I can on the bottom here. And this part uh, will be where the tape recorder will be connected to. Uh, I'll refocus that for a moment. So I'll, I will do that. And then I hopefully uh, I can show you uh, and let you s yourself uh, experience uh, how nice this uh, amplifier sounds. Anyway guys, those uh, two uh, uh, transformers, they are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant! It's a good, good uh, power transformer. Good uh, uh, chokes in there, so it is absolutely fine. It works perfectly. Anyway, guys, I will come back to you when I have more. All right? Hello, well, guys. Welcome back again. So I uh, made a bit of progress. It goes slowly, but uh, we have to do it properly, of course. I have the, the back side, I have that connected up uh, all for the low and the high and uh, this two have to, uh, the two cables but uh, it's going down there I hope we can put that right there's two cables there's one poor point we'll have a look, it's going to uh, uh, la 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 Is this side? I think. After look, I think of this this side of uh, the, the socket. Um, we connect that up, um, and the other side goes on the other side from the, from the socket. It's this side with the with the mark goes on this side here, and this ca uh, cable here goes on that side of the socket. So. From there on, we have to make a connection from here to that point here, there, and we uh, connect that up to the ground, and then we can uh, start off uh, the front bit here. So we have to do one side first, connect that all up, that is all in place, and then see how it works out to uh, connect the rest up. Could be possible that I have to use another strip to. Uh, to connect that one up, so I have to have to see how it goes, okay? But there again, guys, it is uh, quite a bit of work. Don't under, underestimate it. Sorry about, sorry about that. Um, don't underestimate it. It's quite a bit of work. So, consequently, when we get that far, then uh, hopefully we get them to the front also, uh, to the connector there. And then hopefully we can check that channel. Well, I will check that channel. We'll do three valves, and um, to see how it works out. See, what I have to do is uh, see if this doesn't hum. This is very important. There is no hum, so I will connect this up to the sockets, 
and I will uh, start up that side. Uh, put it down a bit again. And move out a bit backwards. Uh, you can see a bit better for the focus. Anyway, guys, I will uh, uh, get this side done. Connect that all up onto the socket here. Then I will put in the valves and we'll say check if uh, the hum is uh, present or not. There shouldn't be any hum. So I have to connect it up, up entirely up to uh, to the front here. Um, that's here. Probably have enough cable, I hopefully. We'll have to get to back to the shop and get some more cable. I uh, have another some coaxial cable, that, that fine one. I could, could use that as well. So I have to see how we do this. Anyway, well, first I'm going to uh, finish this all up. Can you connect everything up on this side? What has to be connected up. Get it all to the front except that one. And then we check those three valves if that uh, channel is uh, free from hum. If that is the case, then we will, I will connect up uh, my tape recorder. And I will see if, uh, uh, if that works well. So uh, probably will. Uh, if you have done that, then we can uh, start off, uh, get one of the meters on this socket. Yeah, you, you can see uh, there's quite a bit of work, so we have to make all the, the network here still and connect it up to that socket. So then we have to see if that meter is, uh, coincides with that uh, potentiometer, or with that potentiometer for that matter. So. Uh, and then uh, yeah, we go from from uh, from from the, from left to right actually. So uh, I'll leave it at that, uh, gentlemen, and uh, I'll come back to you. Okay. Thank you. 
guys thank you for watching of this part of this, uh, this section as you can hear it is really fun and anyway you had uh, a taste of carnival of Maastricht Maastricht uh, this was uh, the carnival song from 1992 so this is actually 20 years ago and actually uh, our carnival is well, never 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 uh, anybody in uh, been there who can, who can do better our sweet carnival absolutely amazing and everybody wants to see this has to go to master anyway so far so good uh, I have a tip for you uh, uh, André Rieu what is actually uh, <laughs> a citizen of uh, Maastricht, such, such as I am. Uh, well, we love the carnival and we only can uh, recommend that for everybody. It's good for the soul and there's a lot of enjoyment. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this part. Thank you uh, for following me and I will see you in the next part. Bye bye.